What's up people, BCHQ, hope everyone's good. Back with another UFC card, and it's the big one that's going down on the 20th of August. Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, first up, we've got Alberto Uda versus Marvin Vittori. Uh, Vittori is on a five win streak. He's got only got two pro losses, um, and he's a submission artist. Marco Uda um, has knockout power in his hands. Won his um, only has one loss on his record as well. Um, this could be a close fight. Um, I also Vittori has got a ten year, uh, ten years younger than Uda is, so I think that will play a part in a fight as well. The longer it goes, I'm going to go with a decision win for Vittori. Um, And he's also, Uda lost his last fight. Um, the one loss on his record was against Jake Collier. Um, so he's only got one loss, as I said, but he's 10 years older than Vittori. But I'm going with Vittori for the decision. Marlon Vera versus Guangyao Ning. Uh, Ning, 11 years older than Vera. And he lost a lot of uh, fights via split decision. And decisions. Um, Vera has considerable reach advantage on him, and I feel that Vera, he's um, a submission practitioner, so I feel that he will try and get it to the ground. Um, yeah, and, and that's where we'll want to take the fight on the ground because he that's what he's used to. Um, I'm going to go for a second round sub for Vera. Colby Covington versus Max Griffin. Uh, Griffin has heavy hands, won his last two. Um, he's had four more pro fights than Covington, too. Um, so that could maybe weigh into it a little bit, but the experience side of it, it's only four more fights. It depends on how much he's learned and progressed since then for, to see whether there's a major difference between the two. Um, I'm going to go with decision victory for Covington. Neil Magny versus Lorenz Larkin. Uh, Magny on a free, uh, free win streak. Um, just come off an impressive comeback win against Hector Lombard. Some awful refereeing in that fight though. Um, it should have been stopped a lot earlier than it was. But nonetheless it turned out to be a very entertaining fight. Just like a war. Um, and yeah, he surprised me in that fight, Magny. Um, Wins a lot via decision, but I think that his ground, his uh, striking, and his stand up is improving every fight. And yeah, I think he's just getting better as it goes along. Um, Larkin, quite a few TKO wins, so his stand up's there already. Um, got a decision win against Masvidal, which was is not an easy task. He just Masvidal just won his last fight and looked very good, so. That was a big win for Larkin. Um, but I see Magny taking this one. And I'm going to go for a first round TKO for Neil Magny. Hung Gi Lim versus Mike Perry. Perry coming into this on a seven fight win streak. Uh, undefeated as a pro. Quite a difference in the rankings too. Uh, so that could play a part in it. And I mean he, Perry is ranked 8th. And Lim is 49th. Lim's got far more experience, but I just think Perry's going to come in with more momentum. Um, and I'm going to go for TKO in the first for Perry. Randa Marcos versus Courtney Casey. Casey is just brutal in the stand up. Uh, she just had a very impressive win against Christina Stanchu. Uh, first round TKO. And as I said, she's brutal. She probably, other than Joanna Janecek, is my favourite fight, female fighter at the moment. Um, and I've only seen one or two of her fights, so I think that speaks volumes. Um, Marcos gets a few dis uh, wins via decision, but I don't see her getting that far with Casey. I'm going for another Casey. I'm going to go second round, but a TKO for Casey. Tim Means versus Saba Hamasi. Now Means was scheduled to fight Strickland, who's pulled out through injury, which is a shame because Strickland is he's a very underrated fighter, I feel. So it's a shame that he's had to pull out. Heavy hands, but uh, 
Tim Means, sorry, he's got heavy hands, pretty rounded as a fighter. Um, he won his last fight via TKO against Josh Howard. He has a reach and height advantage over Hamasi. Hamasi is also very good in the stand-up, likes to throw and strike, uh, has a lot of TKO wins himself. Um, he comes into this in a f on a free fight win streak and he's also five years younger than Means. Um, it's very difficult with age because the older ones sometimes could be more experienced but then they might not have the, the, the tank so it's difficult. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, not a lot in the rankings either between them. I feel that it's going to be a strike fest. I'm going to go for a TK and a first for Tim Means. Artem Lobov versus Chris Avia. Now Lobov um, off the Ultimate Fighter Season 22 was in Connor's team and obviously he's Connor's kind of understudy. Uh, since the show it's not gone well for him. Um, he's lost quite a few fights. He's just got no ground game. He's got heavy hands, like he can knock people out, don't miss, get any mistakes about it, like, but he's got no ground game from what I've seen, so if he can keep it in the stand-up, he wins this, but I can't see him as Avia is submission artist, he will get him on the floor, and I see him submitting Lobov, if he can keep out of the, the striking range of Lobov, um, and get him to the floor, I've got Avia taking this, um, just another note, Artem lost, he went to the ultimate final fin finale and against Ryan Hall as um, Sal Rogers was scheduled to fight Hall in the final, but he had visa problems so he couldn't do it, so Lobov come in as a replacement, but he lost to Ryan Hall who just smothered him. Um, but I'm going to for a via win either by sub or TKO, but I'm going to go for a sub in the second. Raquel Pennington versus Elizabeth Phillips. Not seen Phillips before. Um, I had to check her out, a few little clips of her. She likes to throw and strike, mainly in the stand-up, but she doesn't really like to do any sort of groundwork. Uh, but she likes to get gritty. Same for Pennington. Like, class in the stand-up. Tough chick, Pennington. Like, she's meaner than she looks. Um, I'm going to go for... A decision victory for Pennington. I think they're both very s s similar though in their style, so it could be a very close fight. Cody Garbrandt versus Takia Mizugaki. Garbrandt possibly the best striker in the company at the moment. Uh, no doubt the knockout power is there. He's on. He's got no losses as a pro, and he's won eight via TKO and one via sub. We'll look for that every. Uh, just to he'll look for a punch to just at any point in time because one punch from that guy equals a knockout pretty much so he'll look for that Mizugaki wins via mostly via decision um, but he won't get to decision versus Garbrandt because of his power I see Garbrandt taking this the trend continuing a TKO in the first or even a no I'm going to go for a KO in the first for Garbrandt Donald Cerrone versus Rick Story. Now this could be a war. It should be really. I don't see either of them submitting each other because I think they're both too classy and, and savvy for that to get caught in a submission. Uh, I think Cerrone edges the stand up, uh, especially via kicks. But Story, he, he's dangerous. So I think this will be a war. But I'm going to go with Cowboy decision. Co-main event. Anthony Johnson versus Clover Teixeira, uh, both ranked in the top five of the light heavyweight division. Teixeira um, obviously been more active at the moment because Johnson's been out via injury. Good to finally see him coming back. His last fight was against Ryan Badir, Bader, and it was a very impressive win. Knocked him out first round. Um, yeah, I don't think too many were surprised by that but it was just the fashion in, in which he did it was just brilliant um, Tixera can knock people out too I'm interested to see on the fact that Johnson's been out so long if he's going to have any ring rust but just the athlete that he is I can't see it happening um, but it, you never know but I'm going to go for a first round TKO for Anthony Johnson and finally main event Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz. What can you say? 
all the back and forth since the first fight. Um, I gotta be honest, I got caught up in the McGregor hype train, but I'm, he's still my favourite fighter. It's just been proven that I well, to be honest, I think Diaz is his kryptonite. I still think he could beat other uh, middleweights, um, but that's yet to be seen. He's been working on his ground game from the training, from what I've seen. I think his cardio is going to be better because he's been work. That's probably been his main focus as well for, for training since the first fight. Diaz has got a two-inch reach advantage. Obviously, he's taller as well. He's got good boxing, but I think McGregor is cardio is going to be better. I still have McGregor winning the first round of the first fight. Uh, obviously he didn't win the fight, but he won the first round. But I see a lot of people saying that he didn't win the first round, but I think he did. I'm sticking with that. Um, for this, I've just to st uh, uh, make a point on the pictures I've seen. Nate looks fucking huge for this fight. Um, obviously he's had a full camp. He, Connor looks bigger as well. I just hope he doesn't gas like he did in the first. Um, it kills me to say this, but I'm going to have to go with Nate Diaz. I'm going to go for a third round submission for Nate. So similar to the first fight, but I think Connor goes an extra round, or near enough an extra round. But I do see him going, once it gets to the floor, I do see Nate getting another submission. I don't see it going to decision. If it did, if Connor's cardio was up there, he could possibly take it. But the fact that Nate is just does triathlons and his stamina is there. It's really hard for me to pick Connor, even though he's my favourite fighter. Plus, I think it's easier on Nate's body than it is Connor's in this weight class. So it'll be interesting to see. I'm fucking so excited for this fight. The first one, I I needed to see what it went like, but just even the build-up for the fight, and a lot of people complain they don't like the... the like the trash talk and all that but I think it adds to every the whole package of the fight also another note Nate's been complaining he's not getting the attention the media coverage and the money that Connor's getting now it should have been enough for you Nate that you won the first fight I like you but now you can't form a sentence at times and I'm not trying to be horrible but you can't expect to get the same money as McGregor gets because you don't bring what McGregor brings as a whole package. Yes, you beat him in the fight. I'm not going on about the fight. But if you want to get paid more and the same money that Connor's getting, you've got to fucking have Connor's personality. And everyone's different. So I'm not even having a go at you. I'm just saying you can't ask for the money you're asking for and the same treatment when you haven't got the personality and done and brought in the coverage and attention of people and brought more fans to the sport. Be it casual, it's still more fans and more attention. I just wanted to make that point because I've seen him been complaining. You've won the first fight, win this fight. You stop complaining about the money. The money will come if you bring in the fights, but you're not going to get the, the, the extra, and you're not going to reach Connor's money because you don't have his personality. And that's all I've got to say on the matter. But I pick Nate Diaz for the fight. Third submission third round submission, Nate Diaz. I just hope that Connor puts on a better showing in the first fight. As I said, he won the first round, second round, Nate got it and got the fight. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it guys. Obviously these videos are a work in process um, and yeah, I'm trying to progress all the time. Next month I'm going to be getting some video editing software so hopefully my videos will look a bit better as well and I can edit them properly. Shout out to everyone supporting. August 20th, UFC 202. Diaz McGregor 2. Don't miss it. You'll be a fool to miss it. And for the fans in the arena, if you've got prelim tickets in there for the whole event, show up in time. Like, there's so many empty seats every event I watch. Like, if you're getting tickets, I'd be there from the first fight. Like, it's an experience. Get your tickets. Enjoy it, people. And I'll see you soon.